Javier Becerra, the Attorney General for the State of California here. I'm joined by some of my colleagues at the Department of Justice, who I will uh, introduce in a moment. Uh, I want to start off with um, some startling news for you all, and that is that this prop, uh, press conference has nothing to do with Donald Trump. Um, you should know that. But it does have to do with something very good for the people of the state of California. And I want to thank the, the three individuals that you see standing with me who have done work. And I want to make sure I mention the two attorneys who work this most uh, as uh, people who deserve to get that recognition as well. But if I could uh, acknowledge the work of Ellie Bloom, who is uh, on my staff and is tasked with helping us make sure that we are protecting the interests of consumers and taxpayers in the state of California. Uh, Ken Sugarman, who is to my left and was one of the principal attorneys handling this matter, and Jackie Dale, who also working along with uh, Ken, was instrumental in helping us uh, be able to announce this good news. And I'd like to recognize Martin Goyette, who's not with us today. He's like many Californians is a little under the weather, but he has been one of the principals in our shop that makes sure that we represent the interests of all California consumers and make sure that in these large enterprises that try to do business with California that we don't get ripped off. All of these folks uh, are the principal uh, reason why today we are announcing that uh, British Petroleum is paying to the people of California $102 million dollars for having misrepresented itself and falsely provided information on what we as a state and as local governments should be, and as, as the people of the state of California should be paying for the natural gas that they were delivering to us. I think it's important to start by saying that we wanna make something very clear today. Cheating the state of California is not a good business strategy. Let me put it another way. Let me put it uh, in 102 million ways. Cheating the state of California will not be a good business strategy. We do not want the people of our state and the taxpayers of California to have to pay any more than we are obligated to for the services and the products that help us move forward as a great state. And when someone thinks they can charge us more than they should, we want them to know that we will chase them until we have a conclusion that supports and benefits the people of the state of California. Because the last thing any of us needs, whether you're the parent of a of a home with a few kids trying to figure out how to manage to send them off to college or whether you're a, that college student yourself waiting to start your own career. Uh, the last thing that any of us needs is to be ripped off by a company that does business with your great state and our government. Following reports from a whistleblower my team at the California Department of Justice investigated allegations that British Petroleum, BP, had been overcharging our great state on the purchases of natural gas. That natural gas that our state and our local governments were using to heat up classrooms and the public offices and buildings that the people of California must use uh, was essential for us to keep those doors open. We found a long history of misrepresentations and overcharges to the state of California under three separate multi-year natural gas supply contracts that dated from 2003 to 2012. Let me repeat those dates, 2003 to 2012. These cases are not easy to manage and litigate, and it takes a great amount of effort and resources and talent to be able to maneuver these to the very end. British Petroleum thought it could get away with overcharging the state of California by providing false and misleading information. 
to help it help its own bottom line and its profits. Not today, not in California. And that's why, as I said to you, I'm very pleased to announce that we were able to secure a payment of $102 million from BP to resolve this litigation and our allegations of misrepresentation and false billing by BP. The settlement will be split between the state and those local agencies that purchase the gas under these contracts. It will go as well to the BP former employee who was the whistleblower, and it will go to our office. Part of it will go to our office so that we can continue to do the good work to track down those who tried to take advantage fraudulently of the people of the state of California and the taxpayers of the state of California. At one point, BP employees described the transactions with the state of California, where they were overcharging us, as undertakings with the state that, quote, was allowing them to squeeze gold out of that goose. Well, California just squeezed back. 102 million times we squeezed back. From Crescent City to Calexico and everywhere in between, what we'd like the people of California and the taxpayers of California to know is that we will be there and we'll work hard to have your back because when you work hard, we intend to work hard to make sure that every single dollar you pay to the state of California and your local governments is used to provide you with services, not to line the pockets of some company that thinks it can find a golden goose to lay a golden egg for them. My team here at the California Department of Justice is ready to take on any type of case. And if anyone is aware of any abusive activity by any entity in the state of California taking advantage of our people or our government, we urge you to report it to us because it may take some time, but justice will catch up to these folks. And I can tell you, we will squeeze those who try to squeeze us. With that, we'll take any questions you might have. And I, again, thank the people who made it possible for us to tell the, the great state of California and the, its people that we were able to recuperate $102 million from BP for its overcharging activities. Any questions?